Welcome to Akshara Foundation's video on subtraction with borrowing. Akshara's maths kit has base 10 blocks, play money, abacus and place value mat to teach this important concept to students. Students need to remember subtraction tables for the numbers up to 10. Here is 9 for instance. Note that subtracting 0 from any number leaves that number unchanged. 9 minus 0 is 9. On the other hand, subtracting a number from itself gives 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. Revise the rule of grouping by tens using the place value mat and base 10 blocks. Each yellow cube represents one unit. Once we have 10 units, move one step left to the tens place. Replace these 10 units with one rod of 10. Similarly, by moving one place left, replace 10 blue rods with one plate of 100. 10 hundreds will then be replaced by 1000 and so on. Here's how the reverse process works. 1000 can be regrouped as 10 hundreds. 100 can be regrouped as 10 tens. And similarly, 110 can be regrouped as 10 ones or units. Let's subtract 47 from 72, keeping all the rules in mind. Ask the students to say aloud. 72 is 7 tens and 2 units and place the blocks on the place value mat. The bigger number is called the minuend and the smaller number which is to be subtracted is the subtrahend. Subtraction always starts from the units place. The subtrahend 47 has 7 units. But we cannot subtract 7 from 2 unless we borrow 110 from the tens place and regroup as 10 units. The regrouped 10 units plus the existing 2 units adds up to 12 units. Take away 7 yellow cubes and keep them below the mat. There are 5 units left on the place value mat. Next, Move one step to the left. We have six tens left in the minuend. Subtract four tens and keep it below the mat. Two blue rods are left on the place value mat. Verify that the correct subtrahend, 47, has been taken away. Then, move it away. Thus, 72 minus 47 gives 25. If there are 12 people in a bus and 5 of them get off at the first stop, how many remain in the bus? Students will immediately see the application of the rules as they solve a real-life problem and work out that the answer is 7. Let students try a few more problems to get confidence before moving on to larger numbers. Children learn very fast with play money. The rule of grouping by tens applies here as well. One 10 rupee note can be regrouped as 10 1 rupee notes. One 100 rupee note can be regrouped as 10 10 rupee notes. And one 1000 rupee note can be replaced by 10 100 rupee notes. Ask a student to take 460 rupees and place it on the place value mat. Four hundreds, six tens and zero ones. If she has to give 175 rupees to her brother to buy crackers, how much money is she left with? Ensure that the students start subtraction from the units place. Since there are no 1 rupee notes, she must borrow a 10 rupee note and regroup as 10 1 rupee notes. Now she can subtract 5 from 10. This leaves 5 1 rupee notes on the place value mat. Now she moves one step to the left. 
Seven cannot be subtracted from five unless she borrows one hundred rupee note and changes it for ten ten rupee notes. Ten plus five makes fifteen. She now has fifteen tens. When she takes away seven tens, eight notes are left in the tens place. Moving left to the hundreds place, three hundreds minus one hundred leaves two hundreds. Move away the notes representing one hundred and seventy-five after verifying that correct digits have been subtracted. Two hundred and eighty-five rupees remains with the student after giving away one hundred and seventy-five rupees from four hundred and sixty rupees. Students must move from concrete objects to working with pencil and paper. Place the correct number of hundreds, tens, and ones on a square ruled paper to represent four hundred and sixty. Below it, represent the digits of one hundred and seventy-five rupees, the amount to be subtracted. Borrow a ten and show as ones in the borrow box above. Strike as many ones in the minuend as in the subtrahend. Circle and count the ones left in the units place of four hundred and sixty, and write below as the difference. Similarly. Borrow one hundred and regroup as ten ten rupee notes. Strike the tens and circle and write the difference. Follow the same procedure with the hundreds to get the final answer. Let students gain sufficient practice by solving more examples, including word problems, and verify their answers through the square-ruled paper method. The abacus is very useful in subtracting five-digit numbers. Students must observe that the rods on the abacus are designed to hold only nine rings. An add-on rod is provided to help count beyond nine. As per the rule of grouping by ten, ten yellow rings have to be replaced by a blue ring, which represents ten, and moved one place to the left. Similarly, ten blue rings are replaced by one green ring in the hundreds place. Ten green rings are replaced by one red ring, representing a thousand. Ten red rings are replaced by one white ring, representing ten thousand. This is how the reverse works. One ring of ten thousand can be exchanged for ten thousands. One thousand can be regrouped as ten hundreds, and so on. What is ninety-seven thousand and forty-five minus fifty-six thousand seven hundred and fifty-four? Let students represent the minuend on the abacus, saying aloud the expanded form: nine rings of ten thousands, seven thousands, zero hundreds, four tens, five ones. Ensure that the procedure starts from the units place. Remove four yellow rings from the abacus and keep carefully aside. One yellow ring remains on the abacus. In the tens place. We cannot subtract five from four unless we borrow, but there are no hundreds in ninety-seven thousand and forty-five, so we need to move one place further left. Borrow a thousand and convert it to ten hundreds. Now borrow one hundred and change it for ten tens. Notice that only six rings of thousand and nine rings of hundred are left on the abacus. Subtract five tens from fourteen tens. Now nine tens are remaining on the abacus. Move one step to the left. Take away seven hundreds and keep aside. Two rings of hundred remain on the abacus. 
Again, move one step left. 6000 minus 6000 leaves no rings of 1000 on the abacus. Finally, take away 5 ten thousands from 9 ten thousands. Verify against the subtrahend 56754 that all rings have been correctly subtracted and move them away. Count the rings left on the abacus. It is 40,291. This is the difference between the two numbers. For fluency, students must practice by working on square ruled paper following the steps as shown earlier. With practice, students will become confident of key subtraction concepts, especially if they work in groups. And they will be easily able to handle any problem in the textbook.